Well, the problem with purchased forms is that um, you only have so much leeway in the size that you get. There are still modifications and, and padding and underpinnings and things that we need to prepare to make it work for the garment because fit is really key, um, both to show the object to its best advantage and also for safety, for you know prolonged display. We want to be able to make sure that it's um, supported well and there's no awkward tension that's going to cause damage. The invisible forms are a, a custom-made support that we can make uh, to fit each individual garment and we're able to use a range of materials to make something that's minimally visible. We can trim it to the edges of the garment. And one of the products that we use is the spa shape, which is a soft polyester felt, which we can then, um, using a, a range of different heat tools, um, set to make it much more rigid. And it has a good amount of strength. Um, we need a hard surface to be able to shape that against. And so um, a starting point um, for many of these garments is to carve one ethophone form to the size that we need and we can cover that with aluminum foil and use that multiple times to heat set the fast shape against it and create many invisible forms. We're, we're calling it uh, mummy technique or, or cinnamon roll technique uh, where we take uh, narrow strips and we just um, wrap the, the form that we're using for the shape and um, sort of heat set it as we go to shrink and shape it and stiffen it. And the layers of fa shape tend to adhere to one another as you go. And so you can sort of build up. One technique that has been published by the Canadian Conservation Institute uh, where we can use four inch thick slabs of ethophone and carve them out into a, a frontal silhouette and a side silhouette and notch those two together so that they intersect. Fill out the corners just a bit and then carve that down to the size that we need. And the great thing is that along with the publication, uh, CCI has uh, released the, the sketches for the silhouette forms for both male and female. And so you can take that line drawing, just a simple um, line drawing of the silhouette and project it up on the wall to the exact shoulder and um, height dimensions that you need carve out the, uh, the silhouettes, intersect them, then uh, shape it down to exactly what you need for the, for the garment.